to another Geared Up Garage video. We're a truck fest! Finally, finally, finally at truck fest. Uh, it's Monday, so everyone's leaving quite quickly, so we need to get round the showground as quickly as we possibly can. It is the last one, guys. So let's have a look here. So this here, we've got Charlie Doyle's one. I actually met Charlie at Sweet Fest last year. But man, has he got some nice lorries. Now, how you get a lorry like this on eight wheel tipper work looking this good, but absolutely fantastic. Special interiors done this one with all of the painted yeah, dashes and everything else. It's beautiful. Awesome. That is around here somewhere. Not entirely sure where, but I think we're going to go try and find Trucker Tim's lorry as well, which is going to be pretty sweet. So we need to go try and find Trucker Tim before he leaves. And, uh... He's right by the way, your dad. <laughs> <laughs> There's Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Truck Fest. Okay, so I thought I'd kick things off at Truck Fest with our good friends over at 3D's Transport, Daniel Tappy and the rest of the gang. Um, basically, these are their R series. This is their uh, for 5 series scanners and they're absolutely mint. And these guys work these trucks as well. And they do such a brilliant job at trying to preserve them. And, you know, and as much as, you know, like look at the wheels, for example, like we've got the tire pen on the good on the good years. Uh, the Alcoas are all polished absolutely nicely, but they're a great example of an actual working truck rather than just something that's been, you know, tarted up just for shows only. But um, absolutely love the, the uh, step that looks like that on here as well. Uh, we've got the classic be a uh, Scania field cap as well, which is always really, really fun. And uh, proper tang wheel in there as well. A great example of a Dutch spec lorry, really. It's um, really done with love and they've got a fantastic fleet as well. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. Since uh, with, with the Jack Daniels on show, look at that. The JD's on show, with the JD's on show. This is a lovely example of a T-cab Scania. Really, really nice four series T-cab there. What's that? V8. Sorry. Is that for sale sign? Dad, I want to buy the truck. It's lovely. I love the, uh, we've got the side lollipops on here as well. Really nice torpedo uh, bonnet scanner. Again, it's not overdone. It's not overdone. A lot of them, they stick big twin pipes up the back, which is awesome, but everyone sticks twin pipes up the back. And uh, this is a great example of just having them quite understated, especially on something as loud as a T. It goes quite nicely. These guys got lovely ERF. Tell you what, ERFs don't get enough love and attention because everyone just sits there and goes, oh, it's not a V8 Scania or it's not a Volvo or it's not a DAF. But to put the airbrushing, look at the look at the quality of the airbrushing on this, for example. Look at the planes. If you know what plane that is, stick it in the comments below. Stan Robinson, you know, classic British Paulia, really. Been around donkey's years. And for someone to do this up like this, it's really, really nice because you don't see many nice ERFs about anymore. They, um, everyone just starts scanning you as a Volvo, so you don't really see them. So that's a really, really nice example. Here we go. What have you found? Tell them. Off the beaten track. This is what got behind us. Oh, Scania 1.3, Volvo, FH, FH12. FH12, tell them what that is, mate, come on. We've got an FH12. We've got an FH12? FH12. Right, tell them about this truck, come on. Five-pipe, B8, Scania 143, four by two chassis spec, absolutely gorgeous for beer transport. They win loads of shows, the drivers are always really nice. We won Sweet Fest last year. And just look at this one. Though, to be fair, it looks like they're um, digging in the ground a little bit, if I'm honest. I've heard so many things about Peterborough this year where people are getting stuck and the mud is just horrendous this year. I can't believe, I can't believe how much is uh, stuck and everything else. Liam Transport have got a fantastic fleet and uh, as I say, their drives are you know, generally really good. Look at the T-cab over here, look. How did we miss it? T-580. What I was talking about earlier on the other ones where people just do the massive pipes on the back. As much as I love that, it's nice to have the contrast. The big old pipes over here. Etched in, look at the paint there, look, the BM Transport. That's really nice. It's gonna fire this up, isn't it, really? Oh, hello. Hey. Now that's why we ain't scan your side pipe, because I let everyone look at it. Hey. Proper. 
Thank you, mate. So that's a version 5 Volvo, right? That's a version... Oh, let's start that again. This is a version 5 Volvo, natively different from the version 4 in the headlights being thinner than the Volvo on here. But what's really cool about these is custom LED headlights in there. They're really sweet. They almost look like Porsche headlights, if you know what I mean. Kelsa infills. Obviously, Catmull chassis with sanded off checker plate. Yeah, really, really nice fleet from BM Park for Carbon. You know, they're lovely, lovely fleet. We've got the DAF stands all over here, brand new DAFs. Let's we'll have to go have a look at that in a minute. Look at this 143, mate. Absolutely gorgeous. This is, if you were to ever own a 143, this is what you want your 143 to look like. It's just stunning. Templeton and Daughter. Like, yeah, just my words, really. It's beautiful, it's just, it's just money. You no, know, it's just how much money do you want to throw or something? But are we calling for a geared up garage sponsor? Yeah, we need one. Chris Richards. Oh. Hello, Chris. Chris is alright. Is he here? Hi, Chris. <laughs> this is what I want to see. This is what I love. Old school. Proper old school. Old one or two still bug bugs. We never never see one bad. Working, used, lovely. Really, really beautiful. So, what do you know? I don't think mate. It's a nice truck. <laughs> Big Jackie boy. You are the best media man and friend ever. <laughs> hey, what are you going over to? Yeah. I have a mate that works. Because okay. Adrian, is no one's here? No one's here. Yes, it's a V8. Alright, dwarfs right. the Volvo engine. <laughs> dwarfs the Volvo engine. Come on, man, talk no. about this. Ah. Okay, so I have four generations of favorite V8s in here. I can't choose three because there's the four and they're just about. So you have two, three, four, and five series, right? This here is a four series V8 that looks like it's had a nut and bolt restoration on it. The turbo sounds slightly different with this. It's almost sort of like a pong whistle on it after this. Um, the blow off valve on the, on the turbo, it's amazing, but just look at the work that's gone into that. See in there. Steering box in there. Absolutely stunning. I would say this has been done for the show, wouldn't you? Have they done anything on the back? No, they've left it standard. Excellent. See, sometimes people go, when they do a restoration, they do the big four bars and things like that on the back, but this one hasn't had that. This one's just had a really carefully nut and bolt restoration. Things like that, yeah. I know, I've got that big <laughs> Look at them go. Come on, do you want to talk about it? It was it first year, nineteen eighty. This one here, nineteen eighty four. This one. Really? How long have you had it? 19 years. 19, 19 years. years. Did you do the restoration on it yourself? Yeah. Wow. Yourself, yeah. Really? Got all, all paint, paint, paint bowl. Paint work, sign writing, spraying, mechanical work, everything I've done myself. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. See that picture there, bottom left. You read that at the bottom. Very bottom. Down here? To the left. Yeah. Best truck, truck, truck fest by storm in 1984. 1984. That's right. This was his first truck fest at Peterborough in 1984. And this is this all... one best custom truck. It tells you on there. And this yeah. will be your last one as well, won't it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Well, first one was 18 years ago, and this is my last one. Yeah. Criminal, isn't it? Oh, I've not seen these before. What is it? Sidebar. <laughs> Normally they, they have them on the big the pipes. The sidebars I had made of them because um, that's what was on it. When you look at them pictures, that's not how, how he had it, so I wanted it. Obviously, obviously they weren't on it when I bought it. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're lovely. They're really, really You've lovely. really made it your own, haven't you? Yeah. It's lovely. The roof rack and ladders were still all on it, thankfully. They've survived. 
Oh, really? Yeah, so they've done the fabrication on the, the bag. They were on it when they had this. Yeah. They're Danish stacks, they are. Are they? Danish ones, yeah. yeah Mate, would we, be, would we be able to have a look inside? Yeah. Fantastic. I do not make them like this anymore. We have a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. What is that stamped oh, behind? It's like, it's like yeah. a metal and it's yeah. like... Yeah, and you, and you push the lever over, over the top, top. Yeah. to get the print. Uh, yeah. I've never seen that done before. No. That's really the, cool. That's really, really cool. I've been in a 142 for a long, long time. Look at that. So obviously everyone knows we've got the Scania 143 at home. Look at the bed and look at the stitching in there, the button stitching. This is gorgeous in here. What is that at the top in the middle? That's not a telly, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that is a, that's an old school telly. That's an old telly, is it? 1984, that was like the Rolls Royce. Yes. This is beautiful. We're, we're doing a, we're doing well, how many miles on it? One foot three. I don't know how the last Okay, four, 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 six, seven. Don't go all that one, four, three. Been so around the clock, I should think. Yes. Going to Ireland. Yeah, well, you reckon that's her second time round, do you? Yeah. Tomorrow, isn't it? It's seven previous <laughs> owners. Seven previous? Seven previous owners, yeah. Lovely. Tip of work. That's insane. Tip of work. She's been around there, she's seen a few things. What a fantastic example of a 142. So nice to be able to see it, and it was at the first truck fest as well. And now we're sitting here at the last truck fest. It's so nice, it's still got that old 14. It's got that old smell, that old lorry smell. It's lovely, so much character as well. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Jack reckons that he wants to have a go on that thing. Easily. You, you don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. You can do it. I'll, I'll go find a random geezer and do it. Jack's going to go find a random oh, no, let me, man. Let me, let me find somebody. Let me find somebody. He's going to go find a random man to pull on his bungee jump. If he does this, I don't even know. Beautiful, isn't it? We love an FH12 on the channel. We really do. Well, guys, I think this is going to conclude for our truck face video today. I hope everyone very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye. I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now.